cooking with an amazing chef who's still in high school. Chef Nikita is here with one of her recipes today. Good to see you. I love that you're in high school and you're already making all these recipes. How did you get into it? I started at a young age. Uh, just I got into the kitchen, played around with the ingredients, and just really loved the idea of cooking. And actually, at my high school, Desert Vista High School, uh, Desert Vista High School, um, I started the Desert Vista Cooking and Nutrition Club last year, and we really aim to promote healthy eating with kids and teens. And and that's what you're doing today. Yes. You're going to show us one of those recipes that's healthy. Um, where do we start with this recipe? Okay, we're making a caramelized pineapple and chipotle shrimp tacos. Sounds with good. Right, I know, and we're making a coleslaw afterwards, so it's gonna be really delicious. Okay, so we have our shrimp. Yes. Is that where we're gonna start? Yes, let's start okay. with the shrimp. Um, I have here deveined and peeled shrimp. Um, it's best to use fresh because fresher ingredients are the best um, ingredients to use. Um, you really don't need a uh, recipe at all. This is so easy. We are gonna start with about a tablespoon or two of chipotle sauce. It depends on how spicy you would like your dish. Oh, and that smells really yeah, good. Yeah, I know. The best thing about this dish is that you don't need to add any additional salt or pepper because this already has all the oh, that's um, spices in it. I know it's just so no. or anything like that. And this is the time where you can get really creative. You can add other ingredients like bell peppers, other vegetables. Just you have some onions already. Yes, I have onions in there. Um, and then we are going to put in about a tablespoon's worth of lemon juice. Okay, that looks good. And then you're just throwing it yes. right on the grill from there. Yes, ideally you would have this marinate for about about 10 minutes, just okay. for the mar ingredients to marinate. Uh, we are going to throw this on to the grill. And the best part about um, shrimp is it cooks so fast. It cooks really fast. The best thing actually about this dish also is that the pineapple that we are going to caramelize it will take the same amount of time it takes for the shrimp to oh, cook. Right. So you can just throw it on right. at the same time. I put it on the other side just so the shrimp and pineapple don't touch. And you would put this on for about uh, about four minutes on each side just for the pineapple to caramelize on both sides and for the shrimp to get a little golden and brown on both sides as well. Okay, so that's cooking, but yes. we already have it together. So yes. this is what it's gonna look like Yep. Once you're done, this is what the shrimp is going to look like. Like you said, you cooked it about four minutes. About four minutes on each side. On each side. There's the that's, pineapple. That's I mean, it looks yeah. delicious. Now you're going to put these together. Yes. Um, you can use any type of tortilla. Uh, I have flour tortillas, but um, wheat tortillas also would work amazingly. And my favorite, low carb tortillas. Those are amazing. Oh, I'm good. Yes, they are. They make carbs. Exactly. Oh, and this would work really well with that with these types of ingredients. Yeah, and what I like too is, um, I mean, for the Super Bowl party, yeah, exactly. you can have them up there. And it's so healthy also. We don't use any oil at all. Okay, that is great. Now, yes. this is a look at the final dish, but there's yes. one ingredient in here that you're going to make in a little bit. Yes. You can have it as a side. Yes. You can also put it inside, and that is the slaw. That is it works really well with that dish because of the textures and then the contrast of flavors as well. So we're going to tell you how to make that slaw in just a little bit. What advice do you have um, for young kids or even moms or dads out there who want to get their kids into cooking? Just pick simple ingredients that you really enjoy liking, especially fresh ingredients. The fresher they are, the best they are. And usually use ingredients that are in season because they're at its peak. Um, and just get into the kitchen and just enjoy and yeah. have fun. Right. right. And make exactly. it easy, of course, and like you said, with the stuff that they like. Yes. And of course, you can find this recipe, everyone, and lots of others online. Go to facebook.com slash chef Nikita B or go to tastyhealthydishes.blogspot.com and stay tuned because we will come back for another recipe. with a talented teen chef. We're making the perfect side dish to serve up with the tacos we made earlier. Chef Nikita is back. Good to see you. Yes. Okay, now we have to point out that she made um, these amazing tacos earlier. Grilled. Yes. Grilled. Healthy. Of course. Because that's kind of your focus. Yes, I love doing grilled foods because it's so healthy for kids and teens. And I mean, nowadays we all need to kind of look for healthy food just because it's the best for us. Yeah, you want to avoid some of the fast yes, exactly. foods and that kind of thing. So we grilled up the shrimp, we grilled up some yes. pineapple, 
And now we're making some slaw yes. to go with it. Yes, this slaw goes amazingly with it because it's so, because it, these, this is really spicy and that's really sweet, so the balance of flavors is amazing. I love it. We've got pineapple, we have shrimp, and now yes. we have the slaw. We're starting off with some cabbage. Yes. I'm using red cabbage and green cabbage for the contrast of colors and also because both of the um, cabbages are very healthy as well. So I'm going to put in first some mayonnaise. This is a low fat mayonnaise. I was gonna say, yeah. when I hear like coleslaw or mayonnaise, you know, you automatically think unhealthy. Right, exactly. <laughs> Even though it is a creamy base, it is very, it's healthier than the usual one. So because it's, it's a low, low fat. fat, yes. We are gonna use a little bit of Tabasco sauce for the heat. And we're also gonna use a little more Chipotle sauce. But because this is mayonnaise, it kind of tones down the spiciness. Okay, so you're going to yes. stir that up for a little bit of the sauce yes. there. And a bit for the tanginess, we're going to use a little bit of red wine vinegar. Just a bit of that. And you just mix that up. And again, you don't need salt and pepper for this because the chipotle sauce already has so much flavor in it. Okay. Great, because you yeah. don't want, a lot of people don't think about Right, that exactly. That so yeah. You, you want to avoid that. And also, since we're making this at home, you can really control everything that you put in. So much better. Yes. And now we're going to put in a handful of the cabbage and you just mix this up and also now you can use any other ingredients that you want if you want more vegetables you can put in some steamed green beans you can put in bell peppers just get really creative with this so dish whatever so you want yes. and then of course so you stir it all up mm -hmm. and here is the final product right there. right there. And what I love is you can have as a side dish, mm -hmm. just like you see right here. Right. So if you want to have this separate, or you can do what you did and you put that inside of the pineapple and shrimp tacos that you had earlier. Yes, it adds a great crispiness and crunch to the, to the tacos, and it goes really well with any side dish. And what we have, like, I think less than 10 ingredients yeah, for I everything. Know. Exactly. It's just great. And of course, you're a junior in high school. Yes. Well, but you actually started a club and you guys cook together, you do all kinds of yes. stuff. At my high school, Desert Vista, um, I started the Desert Vista Cooking and Nutrition Club last year. We take um, health, we take recipes and then we revive them to make them a bit healthier and cook, the, cook them up. And we really strive to promote healthy eating with kids and teens and just get um, really creative in the kitchen and hopefully to promote healthy eating as well. All right, well, very good. These recipes, everyone, are online on our website, arizonamidday.azcentral.com. And to find more great recipes on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash chef Nikita B or go to tastyhealthydishes.blogspot.com.